Is this perpetual infinite water fountain a scam? I gave it a try so you don't have to. First, I got everything I needed to do the experiment. A tub to hold the liquid, a seal attachment to funnel the water from the tub into a tube. Finally, the actual tube to siphon the water. I needed to figure out how to attach the tube to the tub. So I drilled a hole in the bottom and continued by attaching the seal. This took some time to figure out and make it work. Drilling the hole, completing the attachment, and clamping down the tube inside. As I worked on the experiment, I realized that the key to making this perpetual fountain work was something called gravity. You see, gravity is what pulls the water down from the tub into the tube, and then it pushes the water back up into the tub again. It's like a never-ending cycle. The possibilities seemed endless, just like the water in the fountain. But then, a thought crossed my mind. What if we could make the fountain even better? What if I used it with my sink? I could recycle water to rinse off dishes or recycle bath water. Although we may be dirtier, this surely would change our lives forever. I imagined a world where every community had access to clean, safe water, where droughts and water shortages were a thing of the past. I saw fields of green crops thriving under the sun, powered by efficient irrigation systems that waste little water. And beyond just water, I thought about all the other challenges facing our society. What if we could harness the power of the sun and the wind to provide clean, renewable energy for everyone? What if we could find ways to grow more food with less land, reducing the strain on our planet's resources? I filled the big tub with water, but how could I see the water? So I added red food dye into the mix to make the liquid more easily seen. I stirred with my finger. Next, I made the tube curve around and put the other end above the tub. I siphoned the water using my mouth. It began to flow in an endless cycle. I couldn't believe my eyes. As I watched the water dance in the sunlight, I started thinking about all the ways we could use this fountain to help people. But then I realized it was a scam. Physics shows us that the water line, if the highest point the water would travel, this experiment doesn't work after all. What a disappointment.